at the University of Technology may now worried about the growing cost of getting a decent accommodation outside their campus. They accuse landlords and real estate agents of exploiting the students due to the lack of sufficient hostel accommodation on campus. Chilini Bamiye visited the school to find out how students manage to secure accommodation. Cost of housing varies from city to city and from neighborhood to neighborhood. Sometimes the quality of materials used in building a house also contributes to the price the landlord puts on it. Here at the Federal University of Technology, MENA, there is a huge deficit in accommodation. There are no enough hostels to accommodate the students. And decent accommodation is a vital component of learning for students. Mina, at a quick convocation press briefing at the institution, the Vice Chancellor of the University acknowledged that accommodation is one of the challenges in the school out to our alumni, friends and stakeholders with the means to consider supporting us in providing hostel accommodation as the population of students keep increasing. We welcome genuine private investors who are interested in engaging in a public-private partnership for this endeavor. Out of more than 26,000 students, the school hostel can only accommodate less than 5,000, leaving a question begging for an answer. What about the other 19,000 students? That's where my story begins. Directly opposite the Federal University of Technology, Mina, is the host community called Gidankwanu. The community is a rural community without some basic infrastructure and social amenities, except for the Federal University of Technology that moved its permanent site here. I drove around the neighborhood in a tricycle, moving from one lodge to another, comparing prices. I saw that the quality of building or available facility in some houses does not commensurate with the rent. Most of the rooms here are single rooms self-contained. For example, this one cost 240,000 Naira and it was so poorly designed that the shower is positioned directly on the toilet seat. The occupant here has clearly nowhere to stand to have a bath. <laughs> <laughs> 220,000 naira for a lot that there is no wardrobe, no kitchen cabinet. You really want to fix everything. And the, even the condition of the house, this is a, a, no POP, everything. And this is a very serious issue because th the things are just going, there's the going to school and coming back here, yes, 500 naira per day. Not even about eating and the rest. Not to talk of the house accommodation again. Just close to this apartment is another one where a room, a parlor, and a kitchen, toilet, and bathroom cost a whooping 750,000 naira and a single room goes for 450,000 naira yet students are paying for it outside this area many people do not pay this much to rent a house nothing special here the house is not furnished no alternative source of power or generator only constant water supply and a gate man at this apartment with over 50 rooms the fee is 275,000 for a single room self-contained. Although expensive, some students that live here find the way of augmenting this money by either pairing with another student or engaging in small businesses. Olami Lekon Yusuf is an engineering student that uses machine learning to create computer-assisted devices. Gas, level monitoring and liquid detection system, whereby you can monitor the level of your gas and also to know if your gas is, is leaking remotely while you are not at home. So, so I do hands on experience such as embedded system, computer vision and AI and also machine learning, whereby we do projects like we bring ideas into reality in, in our department. We say for example now undergraduate projects and also postgraduate projects. We'll be playing now. Like now this is our load. It was like 160 when we started renting it like when I was in 300 level. But now the current price is 275. That is 71% increase in just two years. Jakub's story resonates among many students who pay a huge fee to rent a room off campus at the Federal University of Technology in Mina. For many others, they cannot even find an affordable accommodation close to school. The other apartments for students who cannot afford these are in bad conditions without water and security fence. A room costs between 80,000 to 120,000 Naira. This particular house has just one toilet and bathroom for all the tenants and it is located behind the house.
toilet and bathroom in this one faces the main road. That they pay for here. We got, we students have been complaining. They have been complaining, complaining a lot because the prices that they put doesn't worth the houses that we do see here. I don't know because most landlords say if you meet them and talk to them concerning the lodges, so they will just say they have no choice because the economy is uh, high. So everything now is so cost. So that is why they have to just increase the house rent. On campus, the student union government is enraged by the attitude of landlords, which they consider to be exploitative, and they want the school authority to intervene. On your mandate, go, go. On your mandate, go, sir. On your mandate, we shall start. Why are the landlords now making education a problem by making students not have a place to lay their heads? I can tell you that we were not just, we didn't just come up with this uh, agitation. It was the happenings that pushed us to the wall. Seeing our students uh, who were not able to get the hostels due to the limitation in hostel accommodation, sleeping off campus, sleeping in classes without having a, a comfortable environment to lay their heads. So this has become a, an issue of major concern to us. And we are calling on the government and every other power starter to put their hands in this and see to the resolution of this issue as it has become a depleting menace within uh, this university campus and even the nation at large. Accommodation on campus is a lot cheaper with better facilities including security, proximity to lecture rooms. A bed space in the old hostel cost 40,000 naira, while the new hostel with internet air conditioning system cost between 135,000 naira for a room of four and 150,000 naira for a room of two. Yet. They are not enough. This is partly because towards the end of last year, the school moved all the students from the old campus in Boso, which has served as the main campus for over 30 years, to the new campus, which was opened a few years ago. I met with Dr. Bashiru Ganiu, who is the Dean of Student Affairs. He is in charge of student accommodation. He says the solution to the accommodation crisis is to have more private individuals invest in building hostels inside the school. All right, because university, we cannot accommodate all the students. Looking at the dwindling resources, very meager resources that come from government, and how much are we even charging as school fee? I want to believe FUT Mina school fees is the cheapest in the country. We are charging 39,900, which is far less than what parents paid in nursery and primary school. And that is for one session, for a whole year, university. You get the point? So they bought land, they built, those houses and they fix what they want to fix now what we can do is and what we have even attempted to do in the past is that yes we notice the way people charge we are trying to we we we, we, we made attempt to see that okay we come in as to serve as middlemen between our students and these landlords all right so that but the landlord discover that no if they allow that to come to fruition they will not be able to charge what they want to charge and they feel it's an investment they invested their money for them to be able to 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 to, to you know to get to take to get their returns as quick as, as possible we were unable to get any landlord to speak or agent to talk about the hike in accommodation deficit in accommodation is oftentimes not a new challenge for most nigerian universities as the universities are not able to provide enough accommodation on campus for their students who now turn to their host communities to get accommodation. Now landlords and developers are taking advantage of this challenge by exploiting the students and their parents. What can be done to avert this and bring the landlords to table of compromise as they to complain of the high cost of building materials? Chenemebami, TVC News, Mina.